Jamie Kennedy. Subscribe to my man, Destination Station, right now if you want the best content. If Jason Statham can kick a shark, Idris Elba can punch a lion. What's up? Welcome to Destination Station. As always, I'm Destin. Thank you for clicking on this video. Subscribe to Destination Station if you want Scream Halloween and everything in between. And and so yeah, if horror is your jam, consider subscribing and hitting that bell. And uh, follow me on some of my socials. Uh, all the links are in the description below and I, I just launched a merch store as well. So yeah, uh, but today we are talking about the new Idris Elba movie called Beast. For the longest time, I've wanted to call this movie Prey. I think there was a Lion movie not too long ago called Prey. I think it had like Megan Fox in it or something. But uh, we've had so many variations of horror, like creature feature movies called Beast or The Beast or The Beast something. You know, like I just, I mean, it's just like a very common name. I feel like that, that this movie could have had a more creative name, kind of like The Ghost and the Darkness or something like that. But I am a big sucker. I have a big soft spot for creature feature movies, especially where it's like nature gone wrong. And it's like you put a group of survivors in the jungle or, or you know, in the ocean or something like that. Like, like it's just, I don't know what it is. If it's done well, if it's executed and it's taking itself serious, I'm on board. And that's exactly what Beast feels like. It feels like something that was like a script from like the the, the 90s or late 2000s or early 2000s, I mean. Uh, so yeah, like Ghost in the Darkness, you got, what'd you have? Like Anaconda, Lake Placid, Deep Blue Sea. We've had Meg with Jason Statham that's came out. Um, and Jaws, I mean, who can forget Jaws? I mean, one of the all time great films of all time. Uh, anyways, so let's get back to Beast. Beast tells a story about Idris Elba's character taking his two daughters to Africa and he's a newly widowed uh, husband and, and, and they go to this, this village to where their mother grew up at. And he's trying to bond with his two girls and he meets up with his, um, his college roommate or friend that's a mutual friend of him and his wives uh, played by none other than Carlto Shopley, and he's so great. I, when I saw him in this movie, I was like, I was like, I was sold already because Idris Elba, as much as he's a badass in movies, and he doesn't get the recognition. Carlto Shopley definitely doesn't get the recognition he deserves. He's been in some really great movies, so it's great to see him in this. But yeah, this movie is just a very simple plot. You know, you, you put you you take Idris Elba out there. He's a father. He's trying to be a protective protector of, of his daughters while they're and but also give them this experience and have this opportunity to feel closer to their mother that has passed away from cancer and while they're while Carlton Shopley is taking them across uh like almost like a like like just like a little tour guide type thing of, of showing like the villages where where their mom grew up at um uh also giving them some great landscapes I mean this movie's beautifully shot these camera angles are awesome I don't know if this movie was shot in IMAX but it, it would be really cool if it was the special effects are really, really good on these lions. I'm like, wow, this is really good. This is this is really good. So yeah, I thought that that was very believable. Uh, uh, but whenever like stuff starts going haywire and you see that there's this lion out there that's just hunting down anybody, but there, but he's not eating them. He's just killing them. And then you find out why. That's where the cons come in for me. Is that why? It's kind of like it's unbelievable because it's like this is an animal not somebody that can really think like that like a person <laughs> so yeah this movie like like once things go crazy and and they wreck the jeep and you see it all in the trailer and it kind of gives you that cujo vibes if you've ever seen that like you know, if you're kind of isolated and they do venture off from that jeep uh quite often and and it's very tense moments but what is the star the main star of this movie is not is not Idris Elba, not Carlton Shopley, not even the lion, but it's the it's the directing, it's the it's the cinematography. It's uh like there's a lot of one takes where you're just following the characters and they're going in and out and around trees and the jungle and it's just beautifully shot and that kind of keeps it real tense because you don't know like where the lion could be in the background like just watching them and that's what was really cool about this movie. It kept it very suspenseful. That's what that's what I really liked about beast 
Was there some dumb decisions? Yes, especially from the older daughter. There was like some some times I'm like, ooh, they, they shouldn't have used that line. This was like bad timing. And, and there's this friction between the older daughter and Idris Elba because she almost blames her dad uh, for, for not being there whenever their mom passed. So there's a, like a lot of understandable stuff, but, but it just, it gets to the point to where it's just like, okay, shut the fuck up. We're, we're, we're in danger right now. And then you got these poachers out there that, 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 that are a threat as well. And, uh, and so, yeah, uh, it's, it's very good. It's very good. Uh, Cartless Shopley, he survived longer than I thought he would. Um, uh, and, and, and so, yeah, uh, if you haven't seen this movie, go check it out. Uh, if you, if you're a fan of these type of movies, is it, is it breaking any type of mold? No, it's not. This is your typical type of, of man versus nature type of film, but it's definitely one of the better ones as well. I'm gonna go into some cons right now. Okay. It's more in the climax of this movie and it's where they're like, you know, Idris Elba, and there might be some spoilers here too, so if you don't want to know anything, you might want to click it off and, and then go check out the movie and then come back and check this review out. But but in the climax of this movie, the, after the poachers die and everything, Idris Elba was able to get the keys and, and get a new Jeep that, that, and, and, and escape with his daughters. And, they, and, and they're traveling all the way back. I'm talking about like miles. And then they're almost about to run out of gas. So they pull off to this church that they saw earlier in the movie. Once they go into it, because... Um, uh, uh, they realize this is like the, the where the poachers hung out at and, and where they're doing their thing. And there's, so there's a lot of like hooks and dead animals and stuff like that. So it's real cringy. Looks like the fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. Uh, but Idris Elba needs to bandage her wounds, his, his older daughter's wounds, and he's a doctor. So, he but the unbelievability of the lion has followed them all the way here is just a little bit too much jaws the revenge for me <laughs> it's like it's like whoa okay wait a minute this 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 beast this lion has followed them all the way back here and that's where we start getting into this big fight that we see in the trailer where idris elba punches the fucking lion and and he and it's like idris elba has like this small knife and 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 and, and the lion is just messing him up and, and he's just like you know punching them, stabbing them, and all this kind of stuff. And 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 uh, it's like he lures them him the lion away from his daughters. And 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 it's like there's this lion's den. And this whole scene between Idris Elba versus the lion kind of reminded me of that bear and Leo DiCaprio and the Revenant. Like like just just really fucking them up. But right before like Idris Elba is about to get taken out, these it's like there's this thing that they addressed earlier on in the movie that that like you know another lion can't doesn't need to come into the lion's pack uh, another lion's pack into into their into uh the lion's den pretty much like like it's their pride and and so these other lions jump in and 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 kill the other lion so it's like idris elba knew that knowledge and and lured that lion into that other lion's den and and it and it helped at the nick of time, obviously. But but also like I thought that was like, I was like, all right, this is a little bit unrealistic. This is this is kind of looking kind of all right. We're we're slow. We're barely tipping our toes into B movie territory here. But also, there's like a lot of scenes in this movie, and this is a big con for me. Is like throughout the movie where where characters are like like standing outside the vehicle with the door wide open they're just like hey hey hey, are you okay are you okay and he's just like uh, you know checking i'm like get your ass in the you know there's a lion lurking around J get in the van and ask them if they're okay don't don't just leave the door wide open you know so yeah this movie was a solid b minus I, I i i mean if i had to rate it i don't really like to rate movies but but yeah, uh, and I'm not like this big movie reviewer, but I do like to talk about horror movies on my channel, and this kind of falls into that category. So yeah, uh, did you get a chance to check out Bees? Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to Destination Station. I put out videos almost every single day, uh, and if you want anything Scream, Halloween, and everything in between, anything if horror movies are your jam, consider subscribing hit that bell notification and follow me on all my socials and i just launched a, a, a merch store so if you want some of that as well so yeah guys uh, did you check out beast this weekend uh it's been out for about a week been meaning to put out this review but i want to know let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite creature feature movie 
Like seriously, like like what did you grow up with? What what is the one that really hit at home with you? We're about to get Meg too with Jason Statham, so so I'm really looking forward to that. I hope it gets an R rating. And uh, so yeah. Uh, anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you on another time. Peace. Bagels can go to destination station. This buddy is the bomb. Yep. Love it. Yep. Fucking A. Yep. I had to say that for a reason. Freddy, take that motherfucker. All right. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>